Oh, now then, my friends, I am in Leeds. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. I think that's what you've got to say, isn't it? Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. Anyway, I'm in the city of Leeds uh, and it's Easter weekend, my friends. Boy, oh boy, is it busy. It literally is packed. Everybody's out having it large as they do up here in Yorkshire. And today, well, I'm off to a fish and chip shop because I'm in Yorkshire, aren't I? And I'm off back to the United States soon. And uh, they don't do very good fish and chips there, do they? And oh, they do actually in Florida, uh, but I'm not heading to Florida. Uh, and also not bad actually uh, in Los Angeles, but I'm, I'm not going to Los Angeles. Uh, anyway, today we're off to a place called Hook and Line, and it's supposed to be really, really good fish and chips. On TripAdvisor, it gets a great review. However, that's not always the case, is it? And I believe they've actually won an award, but all these awards, they literally, you look at them and they go, TripAdvisor Award or National Fish and Chip Awards 2019, 2020, but they never, I've never been in one that actually says oh, 2022 and these National Fish and Chip Awards, well, it's basically a load of cod's wallop isn't it uh, i'll use that phrase anyway that's where we're off today hook and line we're going to mark it out of 10 i want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well on looks alone now without further ado my friends let's go So that's Greek Street. If you're coming to Leeds for an evening out, that's where to go. That's the main drag, or it used to be anyway. Has it changed? If you're from Leeds, let me know in the comments down below, as I'm sure you will. Whoops, I'm gonna get knocked over, sorry. So right behind me there, that's the uh, the Flight Club, which I've actually been to the one uh, in London with my mate Darren John. Fantastic place there if you like a game of darts. It's all digital and all modern, so you, when you when you throw in, you haven't got the chalk to write down and go, ooh, what, what is it? Uh, what's the score? It's all done for you. Absolutely brilliant. Went there with Sarah. Went to the one in London, uh, as I say, with Darren John. Fantastic. Anyway, come on, I'm starving. Onwards. <laughs> There you go, look, get to Pop World in Leeds, get your tickets, you can come and see uh, S Club 7, although there's only three of them. Uh, you can see five, uh, although there's only three of them. Uh, you can see Wigfield, who's famous for Saturday night, and uh, Saturday night, and uh, well, yeah, we'll leave it there. Come on, onwards. Union Square. You would actually think I was back in New York City, apart from the twangs of uh, the Yorkshire accent there of the woman on the corner. Right, we're actually in the arena quarter and uh, you'll find hook and line right across from uh, Leeds Arena. I think it's called First Direct Arena, is it? Here we go. What I do find a little bit weird is it is a Saturday today. Uh, it is Easter weekend, as I say, but it's not because it's an Easter weekend. They don't actually open until 1.30, which is a tad strange for a fish and chip shop. They do open later. It makes me wonder whether it literally is there for the people that come out of here, uh, out of the First Direct Arena, and head over for fish and chips. I'm already thinking, are these gonna be any good? Because, or are they just living on the fact that they are right opposite the First Direct Arena uh, and hoping for footfall from there? Well, we'll find out.
Right, well, I could have eaten them outside. However, unbelievable in there. I mean, I love nostalgia. Fantastic nostalgia in there. Back to the 80s. Back to the 80s. But they've got Tears for Fears blasting out, which as a norm, I would have, I would have stayed in there. Uh, and listen to that because fantastic music playing. Lots of the records there on the ceiling as well from the 80s, some from the 70s as well, I think. It's but basically lots and lots of 80s nostalgia. Anyway, enough talking. Let's have a look at these fish and chips and see what they're like. Right, I hope you can hear me there. I haven't brought my tripod with me today, literally just coming to town. I've got to tell you, these chips look great, actually. A bit orangey. I, I could be forgiven for thinking I'm in Birmingham. Let's go, oh yeah. Wow. Wow, they are nice. Look at that. Oop, I'm not gonna eat that one now, am I? But just look at that. Right, oh yeah. Right, let's go in for the fish. Nice and crispy. There we go, nice bit of chunk in there. There we go, let's take a bite of that. Mmm, oh wow. Crunchy batter. Nice flaky inside there. Now then, I just said fish and chips. I didn't say cod or haddock. Um, Normally up here, it is haddock. So I'm gonna guess. Oh man, oh. Woo. That. Oh yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. The, the batter on that, really crispy. I'm gonna go in for a little bit of curry sauce here, which has got a good consistency to it. Here we go. See if it's got a kick. Now it's nice. Not a lot of a kick to it. I've got, do you know what? I've done the rookie error again, haven't I? I've gone in for the curry sauce before the mushy peas. Never mind. Again, not fluorescent. You won't be able to see them from the space station. Nice peas. They are nice, right. Very, very nice. So far, I mean, just take a closer look at the fish in here. If anything, maybe a little bit on the thin side, but as we say, post pandemic, things have been a little bit thinner. I'm gonna guess that it is haddock, because uh, normally at the moment that is a little bit thinner, but very, very tasty and the batter is lovely. They had chip spice in there as well. That's a whole thing, isn't it? Take a closer look at the fish on here. Right, there we go. Nice crispy batter on the outside there. And we've got the, uh, the flakes of fish in there. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. These chips, I've got to say, absolutely fantastic. They're really lovely. Slight crispiness on the outside and light and fluffy on the inside. Right, I'll tell you what, I am really enjoying these. They're nice chips. So I'm going to eat these, come back to you and mark it out of 10. We'll also go through what this cost me. So I'll see you guys in a minute.
right. Okay. Let's get down to <coughs> let's get down to business. Pop that chip in there. Right, first of all, cost. So came to a total of £10.50, which I have to say I think is relatively uh, good priced or, or a good price uh, for the city of Leeds. Don't forget I'm in the city centre and I paid I think it was £6.50 the other day for a mini fish and chips in London um, with the water. Here this is a large fish and chips. Uh, it was haddock. Oh, it's a no haddock cod. I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure it was, I'm pretty sure it was haddock, but if you think different, tell me in the comments section down below. Um, £7.50 for that. Uh, normally is haddock up in, in, uh, in Leeds. Um, no skin on the fish, as it should be. I think there was a, I found a little bit of skin here and there, uh, but all in all, uh, no, no skin on it. Uh, we'd got a can of pop there, one pound. Peas, one pound. Uh, curry one pound, uh, so it comes to a total of ten pound fifty. I think price-wise that was spot on, uh, very fair. Um, peas were nice, um, curry nice, but not overly overly spicy. Uh, could have done with a little bit more of a kick to it, to be fair. Um, the fish was very tasty and the batter was lovely. If anything, um, if you look back at it, I think possibly a tad greasy. Um, going in there though, amazing, you're literally hit with 80s memorabilia, it's like going back in time to the 1980s for fish and chips and if I'd have eaten it outside I would have loved it, it was playing Tears for Fears, Adamant, it was blaring out, it was really really good. All in all enjoyed the fish and chips, I think there's something about eating them in the open air as well, so I'm going to give them, and I think it's worth a visit, I'm going to give them a, tell me what you think. Now, come on, you've got your score. You've got your score. Pause it here. Pause it and tell me before I tell you what my score is and see whether you're close on my score. I'm going to give them a solid 7.7, .7, I think. Because I think it could have been done with a little bit less greasy on it and a little bit more spice on the old... Uh, curry sauce there but other than that yeah I think that, they were really nice that is a damn good fish and chip shop and you god man took me back in time so there we go that's um, hook and line in Leeds city centre well worth a visit if you're over this way go and take a visit there's chairs outside you can sit outside you can sit inside the guy was by the way I read some write-up online and it said the people inside was rude the guy inside there was very, very nice, very accommodating, extremely friendly. So whether since they've wrote them reviews, it's a different guy, I don't know. He was a really nice bloke. So, And if you're watching, uh, thanks very much. Got some excellent music on in there. So there you go, hook and line, Leeds City Centre, pretty much opposite the uh, Weatherspoons and uh, First Direct Arena. You can nip to Spoons after. You can uh, go and stop at the Premier Inn over the road there. Get yourself up to Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.